Hey guys, Krieg here. Welcome back to more Spider-Man Web of Shadows. In the previous episode, we started taking down the Kingpin's operation and foiled his plans at the courthouse. And in this episode, we are going to continue on and talk to Black Cat to find out more ways to take down the Kingpin. We also, I also spoke about the Mario Kart 8 incident at PAX. But your way, let's get going. Nice to see you in one lovely piece, Spider-Man. Yeah, you too. The bugle was not on Kingpin's target list. Yeah, it's a shame when a girl can't slap accurate information out of a goon. What is this world coming to? I did try to follow some of those bad boys you were playing with, and they seemed to just... disappear. I see. Which probably means a secret base. Exactly. What good are evil henchmen without a secret base to keep them in? Maybe I should pay them a call. Welcome them to the neighborhood, Spidey style. Sounds like fun. See you after you smash the little hideout. Count on it. Okay, so here we go. We're going to go investigate the secret base. Which is going to be extremely hype because I actually know what's coming up now. Which I am excited for because this is going to be a fun part. I just realized how fun this actual part of the Let's Play is going to be. Whenever I say this part, I mean episode 7, the one we're on. Wow, this is very, very secret, may I add. Who puts a vault door on the top of a building? The bad guys. This place has all the telltale signs of a secret base. Is this your new line of work? Goblins are us? Leave now while you still can. I'm glad you found work within the criminal industries. I'm like warning you, Spider-Man. So here we go, we are going into a boss battle, which is going to be interesting, if I don't say so myself. I can't remember how to defeat this boss, but I'm just going to take a guess and say it's like this. Like, oh, not like that, but like this maybe? Yes, like that. Like that, okay, maybe I should just evade whenever I, he does that instead of trying to like, counter combo or whatever it's called. Oh. Uh, what dick move. Okay, I can't. <laughs> but I can't, I don't remember, I can't remember if this is the right way to take down the vulture or not. But it's really good to see a vulture in this game, I don't know why. Like, I, I'm not the biggest fan of vulture, but like, he does not get much game time, like, or movie time or anything, because like, he hasn't, he was cancelled for ba- Oh no, he was going to be in- I can't remember Spider-Man 4 but Amazing Spider-Man 3. Oh, he was going to be in the um, Sinister Stick 6 movie, I remember. But that movie was cancelled. Which was sad. Oh, in the Venom movie, I'm just getting bad flashbacks. It showed up! Engage him at once! But yeah, the okay, a way to reach a vulture. I wonder how. You just gotta love the way that you reach a vulture, and it's legit by the things that he puts out. It's like any, it is just this, the super villain logic. Let's get out somewhere and then give the hero a path to get to. What the hell is going on? Is this going bad? No, oh, screw you, I'm taking you down as well. Bam. <laughs> it's just... Oh no, I pressed X. Come on. Come on, game. Also, look at this. Like, I do, I do love this boss. Even though I, it's not my favorite boss in the game, I'll admit, by a long shot. It's like... Probably one of my... I'm not just gonna say least favorite bosses, because there are a few which are just annoying, if I remember. But, like, this one's just interesting, because, like, you're not even on the ground for, like, any of it, which just makes it so good. Like, I know, like, in the Spider-Man 1 movie game, 
Whenever you face the vulture. Um, you have to like lure him to the ground and all, while in this one you just fight him while he's airborne and all. I think now he's actually going to get through a bit more combat and all, combat -y. I don't know how to pronounce, I don't know what I'm trying to say here. But oh god. Oh why? Why would you do this? Plus, come on, Adrian Toomes. Vulture. I do love a way that an old man is doing all of this. <laughs> so here we go and he's got the art and oh shit maybe I should you know just avoid it being attacked and all for a wee while as health regains. Yep there we go health is damn it oh why is this happening to me? No. Okay, well, I'm going to just, you know, hang out down here as my health regains the full. It's just the smart thing to do, in my opinion. Like, let's be honest here. If I just do that, cards never win. Get back into the fight. I'm not really being a card, I'm being cunning. Hide. <laughs> Come on, heal god damn you. Here we go, back to full health. Let's go. I know, get back in the fight vulture, jeez. But by the way, I, I will admit this fight does go on for a bit too long. If I don't say so. Ow. Like, look at that, I probably would've been dead if he attacked. If he got to attack me. But like this fight does go on for far too too long in my opinion. Cause look at this. But I've got kind of one question for you guys. Like I I will ask this on a separate video. But like what games do you want me to play on the charity live stream? Oh what the hell is that? That's just a deck attack. Okay, that came out a bit worse than I thought. <laughs> if you think about it. Vulture using a dick uh, attack. Oh no, 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 no. God damn, uh, but like. Yeah, I I probably will try to do like a Cards Against Humanity game and all. On the stream. With, you know, Alice and all them. Um, Alice, James, you know, them and Lauren, of course, who was on the stream. Oh, guys, it's two nights ago now. That was, a, that was a fun stream. Except for, you know, the fact that Sam tried to troll me like midway through this. <laughs> like, you, if you read some of the chat, I'm not even going to say what he said though. But he was just trying to troll the entire time. And then he was like, okay, come on, or I'm going to like... <laughs> he was just trying to blackmail me. I was like, okay, it'll probably be just easier to let him on to the stream. And I was like, alright then, if you're on your best behaviour, do it. And then... He was surprisingly being nice. <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna go back into Amazing Spider-Man because I think he heals up quicker. Yeah, he does far- Oh my god, that's far quicker. Let's have a look. How much quicker does he heal? Come on. Come on, Vulture, for goodness sakes. I know, but I forgot where he was. <laughs> I've forgotten where he is. Rip. What is this? Very, very you are, Tombs. Nope. How am I supposed to beat him? I forget how to beat him, honestly. I have forgotten completely how to beat this guy, which is sad. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to, you know, the charity livestream is going to be good this year, I, I can tell you that. The only problem is, like, for regular stream people, like, Andrew and Brooklyn are both away on holiday, so that means for well, not really new faces, but Okay, as I said not really new faces will be joining but oh god 
What is- Oh, come on, I could have really reached her so much easily. Easier. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Please. Please, can I not actually time this at all? Which is so bad. Come on, yes, the one I was going for. Going for him as well. And Vulture. Legit, shouldn't, shouldn't it not be, shouldn't Vulture not be attacking the other way around, like, have his goons, um, stay around whenever he's hanging around the buildings and stay alone whenever he's doing the long-ranged attacks? I know that's, like, supposed to be a point, but I'm just trying to, like, I'm just trying to help him out, you know? He is an oiled man, you know, if you, if you get me. But yeah, as I said, like, there will be probably newer faces in all those stream. I may like try to get like Stefan and Verso. I'm gonna try to get like all of them guys in Versolo. Like I did for like the Mario Kart 8. The only reason it was Lauren was because, you know, she's the one who's on Twitter. <laughs> That's basically it. Uh, yeah, she's on Twitter. I'm always on Twitter. I'm I'm sometimes on Facebook, but I'm never really on it. To like comment on all people's posts. Oh, okay, no, he's just going back. I was like, oh, is he actually going to listen to my thing? And whenever he's doing the close range, he's going to use these guys? Nah. He's too stupid for that. But yeah, I really can't wait, because I know that James will be coming around for a solo part. Or just going to be me and him, unless, you know, other people are free at that time. In that case, it will be me, him, and someone else. But he'll be coming around 2 o'clock my time, so by... Four hours into the stream, knowing James, about five hours into the stream, because if you don't know, James isn't the best timekeeper. Oh, what the hell is this? What? No! Thank you. I, I didn't know I'll lose Vulture there. There we go. He's the one I want to lock on to. Let's go. Damn, I've been hanging around with Sam too much. Now I'm going to be called Chaos Bender Jr. by him. <laughs> no. My account might get hacked. I'm not going to actually go on that. That is, actually, that is one thing about Sam I didn't actually agree with. But, actually no, it wasn't even a hacked account now I think, but... Well, according to Brooklyn anyway. Okay, buzzard breath. Merry Christmas. Now you owe me one. Cross me again, I'll do more than take your wings. Of course, of course! You won't regret this, I swear. So now we've got a new ally, which is the Vulture. You just gotta love it, like, the allies I've been choosing, because, like, obviously, if you can tell, I think the allies, um, who we could have had at the moment are Luke Cage, for the light side anyway, you already know who the dark side are. Luke Cage and Moon Knight, and we went for like Black Cat. Well, well Luke Cage because he's actually needed to start a game, but we went for Black Cat and Vulture. God. So, now it's time to return to Black Cat, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, as you can guess, um, what I meant by that is. Yeah, Vulture is our ally. And that's what you mean. That's what it means whenever he's not in our ally section because we did him a favor by not murdering him, I guess is the point. I don't know. But anyway, let's talk to Black Cat here. Let's do it. Hey there, Spider Man. Word is that Kingpin still has some of his secret rooftop hideouts for his little henchmen to work from. I know. My favorite geriatric flying supervillain told me. It's been quite a night. I hear the police are swamped with assaults, unexplained medical emergencies, people freaking out. Well, this is New York. True. But this sounds like something more. Hmm. I'll keep an eye out for anything truly weird. Hmm. I'm gonna keep an eye out for you. 
You do that. In the meantime, I'm gonna shut down the Kingpin's little show. Have a good time. I always do. I just love um, the evil Spider-Man voice. Like, the first one's like, oh, it's upbeat and all. It's like, what's happening? And then it's like, hey, I'm evil. <laughs> but either way, let's do this. We're going up to the roof. Let's go. Unless, is this the one I'm thinking about? I don't know. If this is one of the parts I'm thinking about, it seems too early to go on. I, I kind of want to do it in a new episode and all, but I'm not sure. Is this? I think it actually might be, but I'm not ending it off. It's like far, far, far too soon in my opinion. Well, not far, far, far too soon, but just far, far too soon. Let me say, nah, it isn't, nah, it isn't. I don't, well, I don't think so anyway. So let's go on. That uh, was from James and Craig. Oh, no, that's not really good. Whenever he just says Craig, I get worried. Alright, that was actually a good one. I'm surprised by it. I've, whenever James goes all serious like that, it was usually about some thing. But basically, his girlfriend does friend life and she gets a few creepy comments. And I always take screenshots of them because they're absolutely. Some of them are absolutely hilarious, in my opinion. And I was kind of like, yeah, I'll do it. And I was like, okay, I told her and him, I'm like, yeah, I'm just gonna take screenshots. And then James was like, do you still have the screenshots? I want to see the person who asked to see her armpits. And I'm like, all right then. <laughs> I don't know where this came from, if I'm honest with you. But, I guess. <laughs> it's just hilarious. It is just absolutely hilarious actually oh my god it's just one of those things where it's like what first i just read a couple of them you're not caught and i laughed in my in quotation marks walrus laugh which is absolutely disgraceful for people to call my beautiful laugh a walrus laugh and if, I, if you hear anyone call me out, especially Brooklyn on stream, I want you just to tell them off and say Craig's laugh is absolutely glorious. Oh god, no. <laughs> Don't say oh god, no, though. And here we go. So, yeah. <laughs> but if you want me to tell you that's. Oh, I've got quite a few stories about, like, James and Alice and all. Not, like, personal stories, though, but, like, just, like, stories whenever I was there. I don't really know many personal stories about James and Alice to tell, and I wouldn't anyway, because that's a dick move. That's something that James would do in the game Green Team. Well, not 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 be a, do a dick move, but like, if he ever wanted to tell off a personal story about Alice, you would do it. I would make him do it instead of me doing it, because that would be just... I don't know really any personal stories, if I'm honest with you. Like, I did only meet Alice. I wasn't even allowed to meet James' girlfriend until like... Um, I don't know, like a couple of months ago, I guess, is how you would describe the amount of time I've known her really. I met her, uh, I really sp just spoke to her in like February, I think, is now I sp first spoke to her. Or maybe it was, maybe it was just before, just after that. And the first time I spoke to her, I didn't even know I was going to speak to her. I just legit, I, James wasn't even there, and like, I met Alice. James' mom was like, oh yeah, this is Alice, and I'm like, okay, and I didn't actually know, I didn't hear her name, oh, this is actually a funny story, which Alice doesn't even, I told James, and he thought it was funny. Hi, you're being evicted. This one, this one, this is bad, really bad. So yes, Fate the Deranged um, civilians. Um, I think there's actually a hint about what these deranged civilians are whenever you punch them. Is all I'm gonna say. Actually, wait, is it? Yeah, it is. If you have a look, um, I'm not even going to tell you what it is. Spoilers, even though if you understand any part of the game, including the start of the game, which kind of spoiled it, it is pretty obvious what these deranged civilians are. 
Um, this is a part, I wasn't sure if it was this part of the game. This is actually going really, this is part of the game's far earlier than I remember. I think this game's far shorter than I actually remember, and this lets, I don't know how long this lets fights go be, I think it's gonna be about 20 parts. No, not even as long as the one part of the flipping Ace Attorney series. Ace Attorney was so long, so much longer than I remember. I knew it was going to be long, but jeez, I didn't know it was going to be 105 parts altogether. Like, that was one part I could not, like, predict. I thought it was going to be... Honestly, I thought most of it was going to be 50 parts. And legit, like, the final part of the game, like, the final ch chapter of the game was as long as that. Like, what the hell? Also, there's a helicopter above us, which, um, does kind of, you know... Um, and which will come as part of the story later on. I'm not gonna spoil it too much though. Oh, just nope. Also, I'm pretty sure it's obvious what these um, civilians are because they're not, they're obviously not just deranged because they climb the walls and all. Also, love it when it says out of 23, but yet there's obviously more than two here. Two more here. There we go 22 and 23. <laughs> Stand down! Freeze! Back away from those people now, mister! Hey! These lunatics attacked me! They're obviously not normal human beings! Oh. Ah, the whole world's gone nuts! And here we go! That is the end! Of this part and we're gonna leave it in that little tiny plot twist so thank you guys all for watching please rate comment and subscribe and i'll hopefully see you guys all next time where we're going to be going back to black cat so hopefully see you guys all then inspire emblem bye